Ba to ja se eya eya owura Afrijan. Ye ne nim so owura Afrijan ni eya Yisi ex chairman. Ana se kanenu ana Yisi current ne emma so no ana na na no ye chairman. A se ya to aba wi a no na ye bobo aba ne se so. MPP ana ewi ni ana se NDC ana se CPP ana mpo se gum na ewi ni. Ene aba ba to ja se eya after Jani, a day sixty seconds video, be our two abonte. I order for a video no echo tea a year on my penny that I don't draw money, Mahama. And then I bid you a cheerful a beer a year or rasa mijan fee. Haruna Idrusu, and one more day in Waka. Order for a year likely sent in one fee a presidential race na a year. Uh, the ex president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, Air Preno, one here, obey me a free more and yas and get to a yes and Breno, or do I then adrope your best friend Yakoti and Wensem. Other functional and negative national executive committee members, members of parliament present, and parliamentary candidates across sister constituencies, fellow students, media, ladies and gentlemen. We are pleased to welcome His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the team to our beloved constituency at the Patco Auditorium. Your Excellency, let me begin by first of all thanking you so much and Professor Mills of blessed memory for giving us our constituency and the district. Not only that, as a sequel, you made the first MP who is still our MP in the person of Honorable A.P.A. Fuseni, the Deputy Minister for Northern Region. <laughs> Mr. President, during the first four years of his tenure, that is between 2013 to 2016, Sanargo constituency achieved 100% electricity coverage and water. <laughs> Your Excellency, it is our hope Anytime NDC is in government, San Nargo gets its fair share of the national king. And our prayer is that we have only two challenges left. And I trust that when you become president once again, you'll be able to deliver it for us. That is our road networks and part of youth unemployment is a problem. Now let me come back to my colleague students. The country is in a mood for change. As young people and finance brains of our party gathered in here today, our task is simple. How do we convert the mood for change into force? That is what matters now. All these gatherings that we are doing will be meaningless until the final vote is counted and declared for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. ASU, for me, I know I have to advise for my student colleagues and also to our party executives. There are two ways we can use to win the election without even difficulty. The first is, I call it the political machine. What I'm trying to say here is that this year, fortunately, our campaign messages are resonating well with Ghanaians already. The most famous 24 hour economy. Please become ambassadors for change. When you go back to your hometowns, when you go back to your classrooms, when you meet your peers, Please sell the campaign message of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama in the NDC. Our message is a product that can easily be sold and bought by Ghanaians. And I'm sure that when we go back to our constituencies and try to replicate similar events like this, a champion door-to-door -door campaigns in the name of John Dramani Mahama and our parliamentary candidates, I am sure victory will be ours by December 7th. <laughs> the second thing our advice is that as part of the political machine, NDC is the only political party that respects diversification. NDC is a party that does not discriminate against age, religion, occupation, or gender. Please, in the formation of our constituency and regional campaign teams, we must identify all stakeholder mappings and jointly build a robust and inclusive campaign team that can resonate the people's aspirations. ASU, my final point before I sit down is that oftentimes we think that polling agents 
is left for people who are not educated, or it is a mineral job, or it is for foot soldiers. Please, the destiny of over 6 million Ghanaians are in the hands of our executives. Let's not joke with it. Dr. Farijan and the Supreme Court reminded us in 2013 and in 2016 that relations are won at the polling stations. Please, let's adopt our polling stations. All constituency executives and regional executives, on election day, don't be at one point. Make sure that you protect your constituency, you protect your region, and victory shall be ours. And let me use this one to, to send a caution to the MPP that they dare not dream of any day annexing the San Argo constituency. San Argo shall remain green. <laughs> San Argo constituency shall remain green today. It will remain green tomorrow. It will remain green forever. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, parliamentary candidate for San Argo constituency. In our program, see, our biggest enemy, our biggest opponent, are not the NPP. And there's history to show that when we worked together and when we harnessed our resources and defended the NDC the way we had to defend and educated the people about the, wealth, the, the, wealth, the, the goodness of the NDC and did not fight ourselves, the NPP had only two seats in Northern Region. And Northern Region was considered the World Bank, one of the World Banks of the NDC. But since we stopped, advocating our good works as a party in this region and concentrated on ourselves and stopped fighting the NPP and rather concentrated on fighting ourselves, the NPP started gaining majority in the northern region. Not majority of votes yet, but the challenge for us in this year's election is for us to push the NPP back and retrieve the seats that we have lost to them. And the only way we can do that, we already know that the NDC represents inclusion. The NDC represents diversity. The NDC represents development, progress and growth. And there is evidence to show that our, forefa our fathers and our grandfathers did not support the NDC for supporting sake. They supported the NDC because it delivered to their needs. The most important bridges that you will find in Northern Region that connect towns to each other were constructed by the NDC. Our enduring regional hospital is re was renovated and expanded by the, no the NDC. Our Tamale Town roads and the roads that link us to the Upper East Region and even to the Southern Region was co were constructed by the NDC. Even in the area of education, the University for Development Studies is a testimony of NDC's contribution to, ND, to the growth of this region. If you talk about electricity expansion and its extension across the country, the NDC is the, is the party that extended electricity to this place. And so whatever product comes out of that electricity, thanks to the NDC. And so these were the reasons that our fathers and our grandfathers supported the NDC, because they knew that the NDC delivered to their needs. The Tamale International Airport today serves to the pride of everybody who calls himself a Nordner. 